Good morning, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Well, it's already been a super busy morning for me. Um, but good. Oh, I mean, it was like, I, there were a lot of things that needed to get done. <laughs> First was getting rid of iCloud. Had to get rid of iCloud. So I got a, a terabyte drive to download everything that was, that they restored on iCloud. So I'm downloading all that to the new terabyte drive. And then we're going to get rid of that because it's worthless. It's only an image of my phone, which I'm like, I only have... 500 gig or something like that on my phone. Why would I need a terabyte, two terabytes of space? Because you won't let me store anything up there. Just worthless. So I'm getting rid of that. And then uh, like, okay, we all know groceries have jumped like 16% since January 1st. Like it had already gone up and up and up and up, even though everything else is coming down, including interest rates. The grocery bill is going up, 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 right? So I'm at, I'm at the stage where I have to now do things like when I was first married and we were poor, like y'all, you know, when you're first married and you get your first home, you are poor. I'm equipped for this though. <laughs> so like I had a five pound bag of potatoes and there were only five potatoes left in it and they're about to go bad. You know, they're about to go bad. Like they're starting to look like uh, in any minute, they're either going to sprout eyes or get wrinkly. So they got to be used at that point. Right. So I decided I'd put a roast in and then I put all the potatoes in and some carrots and in the crock pot. <laughs> and do I need five potatoes? No, because Victoria won't eat potatoes. So it's just my husband and I that's going to eat them, but I will have potatoes for the week ahead for lunches. So like, I will make some lunches for myself and I eat leftovers. Plus, once those potatoes are cooked, you can make, you know, you smash down a potato and you fry it up. It's just, it's heaven. Cut it up in small pieces with some onion and fry it. Oh, yeah. So anyway, once it's cooked, I can do a lot of things with it. And then um, I had a bag of apples and there were like six apples left in it and they were starting to get soft. So I took the mandolin slicer out and I sliced them up really thin and coated them in cinnamon and sugar. And now they're in the dryer, the food dryer, apple chips. So it's like, you can't let any part go to waste anymore. And I had to realize that I am fully equipped for this. Like I know how to live like this. So I'm not letting things go bad anymore. We're eating up the leftovers. Like I know for lunch, there's one hot dog bun left and one bagel. So tomorrow morning, I'm having a bagel and cream cheese. And this afternoon, I'm having a, a hot dog for lunch because there's one bloody bun left and it ain't going bad on my watch. <laughs> I paid for that bun. It's getting used. <laughs> Oh, so we are, we are full on in zero waste land right now. Like I don't want to waste anything. So, you know, I'm saving all my coffee grounds in a little bowl and then they're going out to the raised garden beds. I'm like raking them in. I'm like, Hey, we got no snow right now. Now's the time. Uh, prep our soil. <laughs> and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to grow this year because Vegetables and fruits are out of control. It's unreal. It doesn't need to be that way. And in those two raised garden beds, I've been reading up on container gardening. And a few five-gallon buckets will come into play at some point because you'll make potatoes. You can get out of a five-gallon bucket. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's happening this year because I can't. I can't afford groceries anymore. And, you know, it's just ridiculous to me that retailers aren't like figuring that out. Figure it out, guys. We, we can't afford to buy that crap no more. So we're all shopping at Dollar. I went to Dollar Tree yesterday 
as Victoria needed a poster board for school and uh, their grocery aisle was like cleared out. And I thought, yeah, they're freezers. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you've never tried uh, Dollar Tree's shrimp egg rolls, yum. Yum. They're good. <laughs> they're really good. Oh, dollar twenty-five for a shrimp egg roll. That's lunch. Lunch for a dollar twenty-five. I've got some projects, old projects we're working on today. Back to zero wasteland. I've had this forever. This star has been hidden up there. I'd, you can see I started filling it, and then there's just so much work that needed to be done on it, and like it's shredding. Can you see the shreds? And I went, I just don't want to deal with it right now. Or something happened. I don't remember. Ugh, it is falling apart. I don't know. Was it water damage? Goodness gracious, I don't know. But there is a lot going on here. It was obvious. It's obviously pressed plywood, but hearts are, you know, hearts. Hearts are awesome. No, 4th of July will be coming and these stars will be important. So we might as well get to work on this, right? So I'm going to fill the crap out of this today and we're going to let it dry because it's the only way this is going to get done. But I think I have wood hardener up here. I do. We're going to harden this, all this stuff that's very soft. Um, first, it's not really soft anymore. Well, a couple spots are. We'll just do it. Let's just do it. I have wood hardener. We're going to use it. Okay. So, um, I mean, this is ridiculousness. This is just like an overlay on this. Maybe I should just peel the whole damn thing off. One second, let's look. I may have just changed my mind on what I'm doing. Hey, my workshop, I can change my mind if I want to. It's under here. Just wedge this up a little bit. What do you look like under there? We're filling it anyway. Let's just pull a big section off. Um, by the way, don't do that without safety glasses. These are safety glasses. They don't have side pieces, but this is... um. A polycarbonate lens. Eh, it's not pretty under there. Mm. I think this is why I left this. Like the more I look at it, the, the less I like it. Oh, yeah. What the hell with it? Let's just pull all this off. <laughs> Let me pull all this off. I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, so I peeled off everything and you can see the textured bits here. I'm gonna take a sand, a power sander to this. I don't hate it now. <laughs> if I had known, like the reason I set this aside because I felt like it was gonna be a pain in the butt and now my intention for this year is no matter how much of a pain in the butt this was, it was going to get worked on today. I mean, we're going to see what we need to do. Well, pulling all that off made this look not so bad. Like, not so bad. If I sand this down and it gets down to the pressed plywood underneath, maybe I'll paint it. We'll see what it looks like. I don't know. I don't hate it, though. I do hate that it's a mess. So I'm going to put a mask on and sand this. Um, it's a mess. <laughs> Just peeling the stuff off. I should have had a mask. Be safer than me. Well, I am covered in sanding schmutz. Um, but I don't hate this now. <laughs> it's 
so cool now. Um, it just has sort of a distressed wood look. There's a couple spots that, of course, still have little hairs coming up, but I think that kind of adds to it. Like, I have taken off the majority of it. I'm going to pick at the little pieces that are around um, these metal. They're not real. <laughs> I just literally glued these on, so you got to be careful around those. Because I have a feeling these will pop off at any second. But I also noticed that there's some staples coming through where the star is stapled together. I think I'm going to glaze this. I think I'm going to take a glaze and put it all over the top of it. Just to darken everything up. What do you think? Are we, what are we thinking here? I like this. I think it looks cute. Now it's kind of got that rustic look and not in a bad way. Like in an intentional way, like it was sitting outside for a while, not like, oh my God, what the hell happened to that? <laughs> a bunch of people just switched out. I don't like your cursing. My curse. I curse like a sailor, y'all. So, um, the OG was 101st Airborne, grew up on the finest military bases around this country. You're going to hear me cussing. In person, if you ever met me, you'd be like, oh my gosh, like every other word. I clean it up pretty well on this channel. But if you met me in person, you may not like me if you don't like swearing. Uh, I've had some people get really upset about it. So it was like a faux wood over the top and it got water damaged or something. And then they sent it to the thrift store and I bought it because I'm stupid. And it has been in this workshop for <laughs> a minute or two. But let's do a glaze over the top of this. Let's find my glaze. <laughs> Y'all. I'm like, it's everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to use a chip brush just because I don't want to... Um, get any of this stuff in my good brushes. My good brushes. I got good brush. What the hell am I stuck on? Nothing. Okay. And I just have aged glaze in the brown. I'm going to use the brown. I'm not flipping the camera around right now because this is not going on the tabletop. So I'm using my wide chip brush here. Let that drip off a little bit. I'm going to cover the whole bloody thing with glaze. And I'm going to let it sit for a hot second. And then we'll get a rag on it, wipe it down. But I just want to darken up everything that I sanded so that it doesn't look like fresh wood. The parts that there's fresh exposed pieces, like here where it's super light. I don't want it to be super light. And I know I, I, there's there a bunch of people screaming at the screen right now. You should have sealed it first because if you don't seal it, you're going to get... I, I don't want to seal it first. I want it to sink in. I want uneven results. Just trust me. Just I have it in my head. It's not going to wipe away perfectly. No, it's not. It's okay. And I still have a little wood filler over here. So it's basically going to act like a mild stain in my head. Oh, put down, put down. Ah. 
See? Now we've got like variations in color, but they're all just sort of married together. If I had used the stain, it would darken it too much. I don't want to darken it too much. That's why the glaze is kind of perfect. Sometimes the things in my head work out. That's what I'm knowing. I know this. So I just go with my instincts and my instincts at glaze. Yeah. We'll have to clean up once this dries, like all these little burrs and furs that are coming up. But look at this. I don't want to, I don't have to paint it anymore. I was going to paint this this morning. <laughs> I was literally coming in here to fill and paint. But look at this. This will look really cool on somebody's wall. You know what I mean? Frankly, it's a wall hanging. Nobody's going to be right up on top of it, but it's still really cool when you're right up on top of it. The glaze did blend it in really well. I'm going to go wash my hands. Wear gloves, too. I'm, I'm not, like, safety gloves, all that stuff. We're going to leave that down to dry. Um, I'm going to go clean myself up, including my hands and my pants. Ooh. Oh, sorry. For those of you in other countries who think pants are underwear, pants are my trousers. I know. I used to work for a British company and I would get told all the time that I was, uh, you can't say that. Like, those are cute pants. <laughs> Evidently, that's inappropriate in a workplace environment. And go clean up my trousers. Okay, I went and checked on everything. Make sure my house isn't burning down. It smells like an apple pie out there because I made cinnamon, sugar, apple chips. They're still going. Everything's good, but this is dry. Look how pretty. Well, it's a little dry. There looks like spots that are wet, but it doesn't feel wet. Anyway, look how pretty it is, you guys. All right, another project down. One more for the books. What are we working on next? I'm excited. That's it. That's my project for today. Another old project out the door. We're going to get a price tag on it and we're going to get it in the booth this month. I'm happy. Always feels good. Feels good to get these done. Thanks for watching. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.